He asked them basically the, the ba sort of a lot of the questions that I think we'd want Nelson to answer. So it was like a little pre-run of, of the audio that, that we want. Yeah. But you weren't rolling. Yeah, I had a little rehearsal in the cab it, because the cab driver asked me everything that they that I should be talking about when they get the camera set up. So I should be talking about the vastness of New York, the World Trade Center down there. There it is, the World Trade Center. I mean, really, where else is there but New York? It's the most beautiful of cities. The most beautiful in the world. Everything is here. <laughs> because I am. They're afraid I'm going to get hit by a bus if I go running around in the traffic, but I don't have any kind of a fear like that. It's nothing that I couldn't do. Just because there's a lot of traffic here on a Sunday afternoon doesn't mean I'm going to be hit by any of it. I mean, they're all going to stop anyway. People don't run into you in the street just because you're doing something like what I do. So they're over here getting set up. I think I'll probably have a. Here comes a helicopter. Do you see it up there? Probably Donald Trump and Ivana coming back from some casino in Atlantic City or something like that. Really Who knows? When you're trying to run your mouth, it really is forced. I'll just turn this off and turn it off. Be shooting me coming around the corner here, talking about the Gulf Coast, one of my favorite restaurants because they serve such great uh, food from New Orleans and everything. And then the chefs. The chefs are always looking out the windows and saying, what's that nut up to now? He's always out here doing the restaurant. But as you see, the booth is where we interviewed Sylvia for Dick's show on the cable TV set. One of these booths in the back, we have great New Orleans food. And here they serve great food all day long at the Gulf Coast. It's been here a few years. And it's the sister restaurant to the restaurant up the street, you see. Oh boy, I hope that shot came out. You want to do that again or anything? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, um, now what? Okay, now my water. battery's about to die. Do we want to go down by the water? Evie, we're going to go over there closer to where my house is so that um, before the sun sets, we'll get a shot by the water over there. I can carry my jacket. I have to change the batteries anyway. We'll do a little shot over there and then we can go home and... Uh... They're waiting for me to say something. They're going to video me. I have to condense my experience. The experience of ages I have to condense into a few short sound bites. I really don't know how. I've never done anything quite like this before. I'll have to talk loud so Randy can get it on the mic. Okay, we're all set. You ready? You're all set? Well, I'm ready. Look, clapboard. Where can center this? Okay. Clapboard. Wait, wait. You ready, Randy? Take two. Clapboard, and now we're ready to start. Take two. Great. Take two. Now we're ready to start with my experience on the West Side Piers. These piers used to be crowded with people every day, all the time. There were people who would come here and watch the sunset. I used to bring my dog here every afternoon, and I would notice how vast things were, how, how truly extensive things are in New York, even though it's a, an island city. Okay, I forgot I had to move. 
That time I forgot I had to move. My arm is about to kill me. I'm going to change hands. Okay. Even as we speak, the crowds are gathering because nobody knows what they're going to see on a Sunday afternoon at the piers. I used to come out here every day with my dog for the sunset. People would say, what kind of dog is that? We'd watch the sunset. I would notice how extensive things were, how close the lapping of the waves against the piers was, how close the, uh, the, uh, the sound of, uh, of, you know, dogs pissing on the old rotting piers was over here. It's a lucky thing that sound can be mixed in later because if you, if you had to, to use what I'm saying, it wouldn't work. Yes. Okay, we only have 60 feet left, so you have to walk fast this time. Yeah, walk right. faster. Try to stay a little more... I'll be talking about the sunset. Do you want me to look at that camera or this camera? Um, Should I look at both of them? I'll be looking at my camera. This side of town has always been my favorite because when I used to get up late in the afternoon, I'd come down here and watch the sunset. The sun sets so beautifully here. All over, the, uh, all over the city, people come over here to watch the sunset on the west side. Now the piers are rotting. They want to turn it into a big concrete park where the homeless will, you know, be pushed over here by the waterfront. It used to be these nice, beautiful wooden piers, but it looks like they're all about to, like, rot away and float down the river like everything else. But I don't know, there's something about New York that people won't stop coming over here. They'll still be over here enjoying the sunset every day with the Statue of Liberty back there, the World Trade Center. It's a quite a remarkable scene. I want to do a Statue of Liberty one. You don't want Nelson in... No, I want Nelson Yeah. You want me talking that there's the Statue of Liberty back there? As you can see, you can tell me when you're rolling. Go far back. You can tell me when you're rolling, so they want me to do a shot of the Statue of Liberty over there, you know, where the statue is in the background. They have to get way back there to get a picture of me talking about the Statue of Liberty and the sunset. It would be really pretty. I hope they get a good one. Hoping I'm not stepping in more dog shit. There they are, way over there, look. So there, you can't hear me, can you? They wanted me to do the scene of the Statue of Liberty. Randy, you can't hear me. They wanted me to do a scene of the Statue of Liberty way back there in the distance, but I, I really don't believe that he can hear me. Randy, you cannot hear me. He's way over there. I'm talking about how I used to come out here with the extensive Statue of Liberty. It's going to be this, this is a beautiful shot now. Great. Take your time. Just let me know when to start. They're setting up this really incredible shot, you know, of me here and the Statue of Liberty and everything in the background. It really is pretty here. I love this place at sunset. Oh my God, the sun is going to be so pretty in just a minute. That big ray of sun is about to move across the sky. He's putting in some more film, I believe. Well, I hope he doesn't miss this big ray of sun. Are you ready for that sun ray? Did you meet her for the light? Where? Where do you want me to move? Where? Where? Here? He wants me to walk across this way and, and be talking. Are you doing it yet? Keep walking down this way. 
We're going to walk this way because the sun is going to be so beautiful today. It's the most gorgeous of sunsets. It's the most gorgeous of the sunsets in the whole world. Am I doing it right? What do you want? Do you want me to do some more about the sunset here? And they want to show me twirling around and how I don't get, you know, like interrupted and how I can twirl around and talk about everything back there. Nothing interrupts me and the movement is sort of a seamless one where I talk about the sunset and everything else. Like this. We're talking here. What? We're going this way? Okay, it's just a little bit hard to do, but I guess it wouldn't be too hard if you walked around the front like that. And then you could like, if you said that the world was back there in the other way, then, you know, you have to like walk a straight line sometime to be able to, to not do it. it. Would be the most amazing thing. More here before we go. Why don't we get a shot of this t shirt? A nice shot of the t shirt, the Happy Face Pyramid t shirt. Uh, okay, so the light is over here. And there's Mars in the background. Mars is way back there. You can see Stefano's eyes back there. They want a shot of the t shirt now. Okay, well, I'll pose for you. Wait a minute, I'll put the camera down so I can hold the jacket bag and straighten up the t-shirt. No, Hebe, can you hold the camera? Now Rand is listening to me on the tape recorder. It's so fabulous. I just love it. taking notes at just as fast a rate as I used to without Oh, Randy, there'll be plenty of time for that. What now? I thought so, too. What do you want to do now? Oh, and then, and then Nelson said... You wanted to get a picture of me like coming through like I have to walk when I'm doing my thing like that. So you know he wanted me to walk right through the goddamn water even though it's, that's how wet it is. <laughs> a very wet puddle. Here's Hebe over here guarding the tripod. We're gonna go over to my house yeah. and take a little break. And Thank um, you very much, no, I'm sorry about your boots. Oh no, that's all right. I don't mind a bit. That's just everyday wear and tear for these boots. What? What's up? I'm wondering if when we're at his house, we can shoot any of his videos. Oh, that little thing. So we're going to go over to the house and have some hot chocolate. Randy's going to ask me some more questions where I don't have to maybe shout so loud. And they might take a few pictures off the TV screen if there's time. There's nothing definite. It was real pretty. I enjoyed it. This was fun today. Being out, filming myself being filmed is kind of fun. It's kind of new. It's a lot to see out here. Nelson? <laughs> what? How high is your TV off the ground? Is it on a little table? About this high. There's another one this high. There's one TV that's on a, 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 I'll show you. There's one TV that's on a table about this high. It's a 19 inch. So it's about, top of it's about this high. The TV's about here and here. He's setting up the tripod for when we get to the house. So I'll check in back at the house. I'll turn this off so I can carry something. Okay?